in my previous video where i talked about how i learned web development in just one month i casually mentioned that i got a job right after as a full stack software engineer at a pune based startup however i didn't share my experience going through the process of job hunt and interviews and i know that a lot of you out there who are still studying might not be aware of this entire process so today i'll do exactly that when i was done with the basics of front end development and was about to start learning back end i started looking for full time roles a friend of mine from college uh, told me about a company a startup actually uh, which was founded by two alumni of my college where he worked as an intern so i went through the company's website and it said that they are building a buyer engagement platform to streamline business to business transactions at that time this didn't make much sense to me but i did notice that their website was pretty slick on their linkedin page i found that they had recently raised 2 million us dollars in seed funding and that they were actively hiring for web developer roles so i dropped the linkedin connection to the cto with a note congratulating him on the funding and asking if there are open positions for me he accepted my request and right after that i sent him a short cover letter discussing my skills in web development and how working at the company will help me in my career this is where effective writing helps more about that later in the video at the end i also attached my resume which i had specifically crafted for web development roles here i removed some of my ai based projects which were not so relevant for the job and replaced them with web dev projects and just like that i was invited to a call it was just a 15 minutes get to know each other type of a call where he asked me about college my interests and my overall profile then and there i shared with him the portfolio page on my personal website which had a lot of deep learning and ai based projects he said that in future buyer assist will use ai for analytics and suggestions but for now they are primarily focused on building the web application he also said that they have an open position in the back end particularly in integrations at that time i had very little knowledge of back end so it was the perfect opportunity for me to learn and grow in a thriving startup environment so i agreed to proceed and he uh, scheduled a technical interview the very same week the first technical interview was with the cto again it was all about testing my problem solving abilities first he asked me the angle between the hour hand and minute hand of a clock when the time is 7:35 if you're wondering i did answer that correctly next i was asked to write a function that takes a stringified json object or python dictionary as input and prints it in a prettified format without using any library this problem was tricky and to be honest quite difficult to solve over a call regardless i was able to complete a major part of it during the call and the rest was given to me as take home assignment the call lasted around 2 hours and after that i sat down to complete the assignment luckily i was able to complete it within the next hour and sent him the code immediately to be honest i don't think he checked my assignment instead he was impressed by the approach with which i was solving the problem and the tenacity with which i was trying to make it work so he invited me to the second technical round which was to be taken by a back end engineer working at buyer assist by the way if you are enjoying this video kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel it helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this in the second technical round i was asked to show my web dev projects and explain how each of them work this obviously went smooth as i had already touched up on all of my web dev projects before the interview after that I was asked to add search functionality to my to-do list website project. Basically, as I type in the text box, only the tasks that match what I'm typing should be displayed in the list below. I was able to make this work, but something else in the website broke because of this change. So, I wouldn't say that it went smooth, but considering that I was able to think in the right direction was enough to get me selected, and that's how I got a job after just 1 month of learning web development. Most people think that having technical skills is all it takes to get a job that they can just learn web dev and be guaranteed to get a good paying job but the reality is that it doesn't work that way 
there is much more to it than meets the eye. Here are some key takeaways from my experience searching for job off campus on my own. The first takeaway is networking in college. I do believe that the reason I was able to reach out to the right startup was the connections that I made in college. To me, college is less of a place to study and more of a place to find out what you like and connect with the right people. Basically, networking is a way to spread your reach such that you have more opportunities and luck coming your way. So, if you are in college right now, then do take this advice seriously and you'll thank me later. The second takeaway is the skill to write effectively. Knowing how to effectively communicate your thoughts and knowledge through writing is an essential skill. And remember that it's not a one night pursuit, instead, it develops over a long time. I still remember the first few cold emails that I sent when I was in second year of college and I was looking for internships. My emails lacked purpose and structure. Everything was crammed into a single paragraph and was really difficult to follow. But they kept on improving with every iteration and over time I got really good at writing them. The same was with my SOP. The first draft was horrendous but over time I understood how the ideas should flow as the reader's gaze glides through the lines. The final takeaway is having the ability to adapt according to the job requirements and always being ready to learn something new. I was into robotics since school days. I carried that interest into college as well. There I joined RMI which stands for Robotics and Machine Intelligence. It is the official robotics club of NIT Trichy. As an active member of the club, I worked on numerous robotics projects which obviously elevated my skills in that field. Later, I got interested in artificial intelligence and so did a bunch of projects and internships in that field too. It wasn't just an enriching experience, but it also helped me get admitted to the University of Toronto for their Master of Science in Applied Computing program. And after deferring my admission to fall 2022, I wanted to learn web development and get a job in that field. And that's exactly what I did. To be honest, I don't know what will come in the future. But whatever it is, I'll try my best to adapt, learn and move on. Life is a journey without a destination. It's an infinite game. And if you've read the book The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek, you'll know that there is no winning or losing in infinite games. Just keep playing.